on YouTube, you naughty gamer here, and welcome everybody to another episode of the Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke. How are you beautiful people doing, and hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. In the last episode, everybody, you know, we got into the meat of this story, which feels so good, finally. We met this curry person, and their Pokemon Uranium, which is pretty much the legendary, I'm guessing, as it is on the front cover as you open up the game. But in today's episode, we're going to continue on with that, and uh, see what it has in for us. If you guys are still enjoying this series, though, be sure to show that United Family love by smashing and that like button as this series is coming to an end. Comment question of the day though guys, would you like me to keep doing a hack alongside a randomizer nuzlocke or do one or the other at the time? I will do a lot better at bringing you daily videos in the future series, it's just I took too much more than I can handle this time and did like 5 series at once, the 2v2 nuzlocke versus the live randomizer nuzlocke, the black 2 extreme randomizer this uranium and then moss owner so that's five series that i'm doing right now and it's way too chaotic to try to maintain that much while being a college student so i won't do that but i could do two or three at a time though let me know in the comment section below to have your chance to be nicknamed a pokemon on this journey even though we really don't have that much more to do let's go over a quick team recap nothing really has changed just just some level ups we are stuck to only three pokemon this might be the episode that we lose guys I'm going to be, you know, quite frank with you guys. I really don't think we're going to complete this Nuzlocke challenge. This game is going to get even harder. And I know the Elite Four is going to be good. But we might lose the day, depending on whatever this Curry person has. And I'm guessing they only pretty much have... Uh, what is it? Nuclear type Pokemon, which is going to be quite effective against my entire team. So that is not a good sign. And I have no idea what the stats are of that uh, Uranium Pokemon. So uh, let's see. Do I have one live? I do already have one live. Let's go. All right. Let's keep moving on. Let's go ahead and load the United Bonus Round Spinner. I doubt it. But, uh, you know, it would be so freaking nice if we could just get a lucky day or an extra life. I'm not even going to lie. I know we're not going to, but we'll see. And anti-legendary dual type doesn't even matter. Neither of those is really going to attain us. So anti-legendary, well, we don't have any legendary Pokemon, so that's not a big deal. Like I said, I knew we weren't going to get a lucky day. If we were, I'd bring Draco back. That would be four major members. That would be good. And then maybe catch a Pokemon on Victory Row, get us a team of five. Then I might see us having a chance to complete this game. I think even more than the Elite Four, though, this is going to be hard. Especially if I'm right about them having nuclear type Pokemon. That's going to be insane. Finally, Dylan. Good. Now I think everybody's here. Ready to go, Dylan? We're going to the hazard zone. It's going to be pretty dangerous. Plus, it'll be swarming with nuclear Pokemon. But I'm not afraid. I can handle a few nuclears. No problem. So how about you? All set to head out? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just get into it. I'm, I'm healed up. I have so many hyper potions. We are good to go. Loud and clear, sir. We're on route to hazard zone right now. Are Dylan and Theo with you? Are they with you? Yes, Dylan uh, and Dylan and me are. I can't. I can't even see what the arrows are going to. Who's talking? Uh, I mean, yes, sir. Good. You will need to equip yourselves for this mission. In the boat storage case, you will find a packs of Pokeballs. These are new experimental type of Pokeballs that our research have our researchers have developed. They should work uh, especially well on nuclear type Pokemon. So I'm guessing it's kind of like beast balls for Ultra Beast kind of thing. Now, there are one more piece of technology that you will need. The crowning jewel of all our research, the hazard suit. Yo, this is intense. Yo, is that it? <laughs> you, uh, oh wait, or is that that mask? As you can see, this is just a prototype. Right now, there's only one functional suit. The rest of you on the mission will be equipped with gas mask and radiation shielding clothing. But the hazard suit is something special. We base it upon the blueprints developed in the Hoenn region. It will be complete it will completely shield your body from the radio radioactive fallout. It contains an air an air filtration system and they even allow you to breathe underwater for a limited amount of time. That's really like awesome. Also, they include a built-in communicator and geolocator which will allow will let's let us HQ track you and communicate communicate at any time. I'm guessing that's kind of the Hoenn reason because they have dive. I don't. I guess that's that's the only thing I can think of. Dylan, I want you to wear it. I wouldn't have worn it myself, but my circumstances being what they are, I trust that you will make good use of it. Oh, I wanted you to wear this suit, but I know why he picked you, Dylan. You're the better trainer between us, and I'm his son, so at least I think that's my dad talking. I made the both of you honorary rangers for a reason. Dylan, I don't doubt you'll make me proud. <laughs> Now everybody, your mission, infiltrate the power plant and find where Curious hiding. Subdue them and separate them from the legendary Pokemon Uranium. Yep, okay. So they can, oh, yo, I'm not catching, Le I'm not catching Uranium today, am I? Because then I can't because of the anti-legendary. No, I better not be catching it today. 
I, no, no, no. I've been told that you catch it after the Elite Four. Okay, so yeah, we're good. This is real. The fate of the region is at a stake. You are Tandor's best and brightest. We're all counting on you. Good luck out there. Over and out. All right, so we're... Oh, we're good now. Can I just go put the suit on? That's freaking awesome. Yes. Yo, this is so cool. Yo, we got the freaking hazard suit, boys. All right, let's go take on Kira. Are we already there? Or do I just gotta, what do I got to do? Yo, we already here. Whoa, the air is thick here. I don't think we can breathe without these masks. This is Kellen, Dylan. Theo, do you copy? We hear you, boss. We've entered the hazard zone. All right. Your target is a power plant to the northwest. You should start making your way there now. Be on your guard. It's likely you'll be attacked by nuclear Pokemon. My rangers will flank you uh, to keep you safe. Got it. Good luck. So we gotta go to the power zone. We're gonna be, you know, fighting some Pokemon. I don't know what the levels are. That's why I was kind of getting just, you know, I did 64, 65, and 66. Uh, I have no idea. I'm afraid because I know they get up to around the 70s. I don't know if that's quite just yet, uh, but it might be. So that's why I'm not gonna try to fight any of these if I don't have to. I'm gonna do my best to avoid them all. Hey, Dylan, there you are. Hey, you look, uh, here, you look, you're like a slowpoke in that thing, but you look pretty cool, I gotta admit. Anyway, I think I spotted something cool. Follow me, but keep quiet. He's gonna get us into a battle, isn't he? What is that thing? That Pokemon, have you ever seen it before? It doesn't seem like the other type nuclear types. I've never seen anything like it. We should try to... <laughs> Yo, it took off. I don't know what this thing is. It is so hot in my freaking office right now. I gotta turn this fan on. It is so dang hot. Crap, it ran away. We're scared enough. I'm gonna try to catch it. Yo, <laughs> Theo. This is why I don't trust you, man. Let me do my things my own way. All right, so is that a is that a triple battle? It's a horde. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What happened? You have an Inflor and I have the guy. Chris, yo, I might be a little over leveled. I might be a little over leveled. I did not know they're only gonna be level fifty-five, but I only have three Pokemon. Like, what am I supposed to do out here? And I can just Z move and use Surf, and I think that'll do that'll do the trick because we're super effective. So I always say Z move. All right. So the reason I said Z move the last time and I said it right then is because I have to press Z to use it. So I just it just clicks in my mind Z move, even though I'm Mega evolving. So if I ever say that, now you know why. I know I know it's a Mega evolution. I just see Z and my brain clicks that I say Z move. Man, I really wish we had Thunder right now. I did not know his Mega evolution was gonna have a Drizzle. That would make things so much better. All right, that should honestly, I don't know, it splits the damage, so it might not be. All right, well, I got rid of Arbok. All right, let's see if Tensor can survive it. That's gonna be some decent experience. I don't really give a crap about your Nymphlora. <laughs> I got a Nymphlora! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. All right, Ligarcus is a beast out here, which I am 10 levels higher, too. So that's probably why I did one-shot everything. But I just know this Curie person's got to at least be 60, right? There's no way it's not at least 60. Another Tanskir. Are you going to send another Pokemon out? Thea sent out a build card. Okay. Well, I'll just use a Scald if that's the only other Pokemon. And I... No, it's not. I thought I only saw three, but all right. I'll go with another Surf. Sorry, right, Villacard. You're going to die, too. But I know there's no way that Curry here is going to only have level 55s. If it is, we might actually win. I'm, I'm going to feel pretty confident if that's the case. What I really want to do is just kind of set up Ligaikris like this and use Surf, honestly. Like, I don't have any other way to do that. With that Drizzle coming into effect and Stab and everything and his good special attack and his high level, I think that's the best way to do it. And I, and I know people always get mad when I only use one Pokemon in a battle, but I really can't help this. I got to do my best to win, you know? All right, Narba, who has the XP share right now? Who has it? I, I see some people gaining other experience on Nucleon. All right, that's the only thing. No. Oh, my God. How big are these hordes? Is it only six Pokemon? Like, it has to be only six. There's no way. And I felt bad for killing this Nucleon right here. I can't remember who I was training last to get that EXP share right there. I also did a lot on Willow, too, because Willow can set up with Calm Mind, so that's why he's the highest level on the squad. The guy, of course, I didn't want to be the highest because he has the Mega Evolution, so there's that. And I really don't see how uh, Baby Hall, not I was going to say Baby Hall, Baby uh, Ho-Oh out here is going to be able to do a lot of damage against Hol a Hollow type or nuclear type Pokemon. Because they're going to be quite effective on him, and he's the weakest defensive-wise on the squad. So that's why I don't really see me using him today. Mainly Willow and Ligiacris. Oh, I know. It's just I gained two experience because of the, the two kills. That's why. Okay. All right. I thought somebody had the XP share or something. 
I guess your aim must be commanding them, so they know where we're at. Or no, they know we're here. We've lost the element of surprise. Well, it doesn't matter. Curry can't run away forever. Let's go after or let's go get him. And if I see that strange Pokemon again, I won't hesitate to catch it. All right, you do that, buddy. Just leave me be, you know, we gotta be kind of slow over here, there's no speed button or anything, and we can't run. Alright, never mind, we are gonna have to do battles, but, uh, that'll be more experience for Ligiacris, I guess, which, I don't want Ligiacris to get all the experience. Um, but we have more hordes to fight, dear god, alright. But I have to pretty much, oh, no, no, okay, Hollow and Ligiacris, alright, so, I will use a Scald, no, 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 let me Mega Evolve. Let's go, let's get rid of that one, and, um... Flamethrower that, okay. Honestly, that should be a two-shot, or a one-shot for both of them, and we should be good. And just, I don't really want to train Willow right now, since he is the highest level. Uh, but, like, guy, Chris, I wouldn't mind even getting to level 67. Not even gonna lie, that would be nice to have. Alright, that's, that's easily gonna be a one-shot. This is where I really wish there was a speed-up button, because I want to get into the meat. I don't know how far it is until we're gonna get up to Curry, and I know we have to fight them. But are they, all, are they only gonna have your rain, or are they gonna have other Pokemon too? I imagine, like, they'll have, like, other Pokemon, uh, because that won't be that fun of a fight if they only have the Legendary. And then I should definitely win. Like, I don't, I don't know what that Legendary stats are. I imagine they're good, and they're super effective at all times, but so are we. That's the big thing. And the levels are getting up to 68, so there we go. That's, that's a little bit more like it. And I'm, I'm gonna use Air Slash. I don't know why I'm using Flamethrower, because it's, you know... Weakened because of the rain. Did that say normally effective? That didn't seem like it said super effective. It wasn't. What? Oh, is it because he's grass and nuclear? That thing's grass and nuclear, so it, you know, balanced out. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Are you going to get a kill one shot? You are going to get a one shot. Good job. I'm actually kind of glad I did a good bit of training. <laughs> I know that's kind of cheap, man, but I only have three Pokemon. I can't do any less. I can't. And how can they run away when I just made them faint? That makes no sense. Alright, let's keep on doing it. Let's let's grab these. They're here for a reason, right? Let, it might be useful. Halfway. Okay, let's just grab them all. Why not? Let's see. We have the anti-legendary. I'm making sure I'm not cheating anyway. Uh, no, no, no. Yes, I want to use another one, even though it's not going to repel the Pokemon that are static here. But technically, all these Pokemon are static encounters, so I could catch them. If you really think about it, but I don't want to spend this whole episode trying to catch these nuclear type Pokemon. And I really don't know when I'm going to be able to use these nuclear type Pokemon and them not be nuclear. Also, off cam while I was training, I found the Gyarados site. So uh, we could Mega Evolve Gyarados if we ever somehow got him back. So that's that's pretty sick. Uh, we'll get rid of Arbok. And actually, I think that thing is actually fighting. So we'll just use uh, an Air Slash on. And that should be a, a little one shot for us. Alright, I have both my unhealthy drink and then my healthy water here to kind of balance it out, but I really needed some caffeine. As I said, you know, I'm going away this weekend, so I got to do a lot of videos straight, and I don't like the bulk recording too much because I know it gets dry if I do it too much, but I think two or three episodes will be fine. I really, really want to finish this series so bad. I feel like it will help me out so- yo. Alright, thank god he's vital throw and not an actual, like, nuclear type move. That could have been pretty bad. And Intimidate again, that's- wait, no, 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 I'm, I'm using Special Attack with Hollow, so we're okay. Alright. But yeah, I really do want to finish this series, not because like, yo, I want to get it out of the way or anything like that, but... I'm really tired of having to try to maintain five series at once, so I'm gonna be so happy when at least it gets narrowed down by one. Uh, and then at least when I get ahead of the 2v2 versus, which is all on me, so if it's ever delayed, it's on me, pretty much. Except this past weekend was because of Twintendo, he was gone. Uh, because I'm the one that's editing it, and I'm so far behind on editing it, just because the video takes so dang long to render. Not very effective. I don't know why you're not using nuclear-type moves. This would be so much more efficient for you if you would do that. Alright, another one of those. I can't use Surf. That'll kill Hollow. Um, yeah, let's do the same thing. We'll just do Scald and then Air Slash again. We should be good. Alright, that's- honestly, I still think that'll be a one-shot, unless that thing is just really defensive. No, okay. That- that drizzle is so clutch. I- I maybe have got the right kind of starter, because that drizzle, with all of our moves right here, and if I had thunder too, that's freaking overpowered, honestly. That's really good. Alright, I think they probably have one more, don't they? No, that's it, okay. Another nuclear horde done. Which, we actually took some hits that time, but that's okay. Is there a place to heal up here? Because I don't want to waste all of my PP and not even be able to heal. 
And I'm not trying to get an encounter right now because... Is it... Where did I go? I didn't see where I'm supposed to go. That's... Oh, up. Okay, okay. Up there. All right. Because if this ever gets cleared out and it's not a nuclear wasteland, then maybe I could just get a regular encounter here and it's something good, you know? I wouldn't mind getting an Arbok here and then getting a Mega Arbok in the future. That would be good for the Elite Four. Uh, just, you know, different type balances and stuff. All right, let's head into the woods. All right, this place looks good. This place looks clean. Yes, the air does look different in here. Maybe there's no nuclear Pokemon. There's no radiation at all. Yo! Can I get a regular encounter? Something has purged the radiation here, and I think it has I think I know what did it. Let's head further inside. Alright, I think I might be able to get a regular encounter out here. Uh so let's see. Is my repel gonna wear off? Is there a regular encounter? Yo, what are all these things? There it is! And there's more than this one of them, too, Dylan! I'm gonna catch one of them now! Alright, you should catch one for yourself, too. All right, well, this is a static encounter, so technically I can catch this. So let's see what it is. What is this thing? A Hazma. That's like a little baby cry thing, but level 40. All right, I can't hurt this thing, so I guess I just got to try and catch it, which... Oh, wait, no, wait, it's not a nuclear type, though, right? So I don't need to use a nuclear ball. One. Two. Come on, I can't hurt it, though. Okay, recover. That's not gonna do anything. I have to- I have to catch this. I even, like, I was trying to make sure I would go on this- on the game. And, uh, I saw, like, in bold letters, make sure to catch Hosma here, so... This is definitely Hosma, so I don't know what it has any importance. Maybe he's not good. Maybe it has to do with the storyline. Uh, but it seems kind of, like, not difficult to catch. Eventually, I should- we should be able to catch it with an Ultra Ball. But I literally cannot hurt this thing. All of my Pokemon are level 60 that I can use, so... Two. Come on, Ozma, just stay in the freaking Ultra Ball. Has light screen, okay. It has some decent moves, you know, to set up for us in the future. Maybe he's resistant against uh, nuclear types. That would be cool. Because of, like, his uh, little, like, shield or whatever. There we go, we got a Ozma. Or not a shield. <laughs> his little, like, clothes that it looks like, his little mask and stuff. It is a nuclear type. Okay, maybe I should have used the nuclear balls, but all right. All right, they appear in the aftermath of a nuclear fallout. They feed on radiation and can clean irritated area over time. Well, that's really cool. I will be right back, though, guys. I didn't name this Pokemon after one of you guys. Awesome, Oshawott. You said, yes, name the Pokemon Rockstar or Legend. And you said the bonus round cry was Mary, which everybody did get that right. So we're going to name this guy Legend. I hope he is a legend for us. Welcome to the team. I like how I can just type it there. That's so convenient. I wish I could see what he is. Okay, I got one. Theo, did you get one? Oh, we're calling Dad. This is Kellen. Is it something to matter? No, but uh, we discovered something cr amazing. You're not gonna believe this, boss. Well, go on. Oh, um, it's a Pokemon, a new kind of Pokemon. It's a nuclear type, but it isn't hostile. It's not even radioactive. This is just a guess, but I think it eats radiation. We're in this area inside the hazard zone, and it's completely cleaned. I don't even need to wear my mask in here. Theo, that's dangerous! Put your mask back on right now! Even if you don't see any evidence, he might still be radioactive! I promise it isn't. We checked with the uh, Geiger counter on the hazard suit. It's totally radiation free. It's bizarre. If what you're saying is true, then this has completely changed our strategy. Excellent work, Theo. Dylan, keep, up, keep me posted on any new discoveries you make. But remember, your primary goal remains the same. If we don't stop Curry, we can't begin the restoration process. So does this thing, like, eat away- is that how you restore Pokemon in the future? This thing eats away the nuclear possessions on top of that Pokemon, I'm guessing? Maybe something to do with that? Your geolocator say you're not far from the power plant right now. It's due north. Curry is there. Find them and end this once and for all. For Tandor! I love how the, all their faith is inside these two kids. Like, to save the world from nuclear explosions and a fallout happening. Due north, I can't even go north, man. Is there any place to catch Pokemon around here? Or maybe I need to go back, which I could technically take the suit off, I think, right? Is Dune North. Well, I don't think I can go north from here, so I guess I gotta go back out here. Hey, more Pokemon! Let's do this, Dylan! Oh, okay, I can see I can go around there in the grass, okay. Another horde, alright, so we're just gonna be stacking up experience, but I really need to heal right now. Like, not, not like, damage-wise, but like, move-wise. I'm gonna be out of freaking PP by the time we're there. Actually, I can use Surf right here. 
Uh, but I, I guess Theo heals me or something because I have no surfs used, and I've definitely used surf on this island. All right, it should be a one shot of both of them. I don't mind killing his Nymphlora. It's just plain experience right now. Maybe I need, didn't need to train so much that I did because of all these hordes. And I could just honestly have trained right here in the grass. And that would have been a lot of experience. But I really didn't know what was up ahead. So. Alright. <laughs> Freaking Ligarikus is so good. He just one-shots everything. With Surf, even the other Pokemon. I hope so bad this Curry battle is not a freaking double battle. That's gonna be brutal. It better be a single battle. I'm gonna be really salty about that. All right, about to be level 67. <laughs> He's so freaking good. All right, Villa card, and you're gonna send out more Horde. I think they're just sick per per fight. A Tropint. All right, just another Surf. You know, we might not even make it to Curry because of the not being able to speed up, and I don't want to make the episode too dang long. Because I want to record another one before I go on for the day to go to class and everything. So I want to make sure we get everything we can done, but I don't want the episode to be like 50 minutes long. So it might leave a little, a little teaser uh, and fight Curry in the next episode. So, Because then I think after that, if we somehow win, all we really have left is going on to the Elite Four, and then we're done. That, that's all we have left. I love how, like, Guy Chris is getting all this experience, so, like, I I'm so sorry that I'm only using him, but... He's e he's the easiest way to stay alive right now, and that's my main focus. Alright, one more Surf, and that should be good. We might not actually kill his, uh, Cutleth. What'd they use? Like, Quick Attack or something? But we shouldn't kill it just because it's a Grass and Dragon, so... I'll be surprised if we even do half damage to that thing. It is gonna be a one-shot on everything else, though. It's too overpowered, but if I was out here trying to fight with normal, I would be taking hits, honestly. Okay, yeah, we almost did half, though. Just because, like, I bet, like, Theo's Pokemon wouldn't be doing too much for us, and I'd have to be out here uh, trying to do everything with just my Pokemon, like Willow or Hollow. All right, Theo, can you heal me? Can you heal me, my, my dude? Oh, he did join me, so... Do you keep me healed? Is, is that a thing? Yo, he does! That's so nice. Okay, so we're okay. We're gonna go ahead and take a little short break, though, guys, and have today's United Bonus Round! Welcome to the United Bonus Round. In the previous episode, we heard the following Pokemon's cry. This was none other than the Pokemon, Gudra. Now, answer the following Pokemon's cry correctly to send United Gamer a challenge or a bonus in an upcoming episode. Ten of you must get this correct to complete this bonus round. <coughs> Let's get back into the video. Let us keep moving on. All right, so good God. All right, so we have six of these things to fight. All right, let's do it, Theo. And I might actually switch out. Am I still on set? I feel like I'm, no, it's just because it's a double item stuff. Uh, okay, why does it show only 10 skirts out here? I don't want the guy to get all this experience, so I really might switch, um, in this fight. Because he's gonna get too high of a level, to be honest. And I really wasn't expecting to do this much horde fighting. I thought it was just gonna be kind of straightforward. You maybe fight a couple and then go straight, and then fight, uh, uh, Curry. So that's what I was expecting. That's why I was saying, hey, we're gonna do it in this episode, guys! But, I mean, can't really help having to fight six Pokemon per battle over here. And just wait, because it's going to take so dang long. Oh, a sudden strike, that's what it used. Alright, well, just go ahead and die. It's so kind of dull, I'm so sorry, but, like, I really can't help that. I, I miss having a speed up button, I'm too spoiled because of all my other randomizers. Really nothing, like... Nothing difficult about this though right here. The nuclear type Pokemon really aren't bad, so maybe we'll be okay against Curry. I just imagine they're gonna be higher level and they might know some really good nuclear type moves. That's what I'm really nervous about because all of my Pokemon are dual types. You know, water and electric, uh, fighting and fairy, and fire and flying. So that being said, I have to really worry about my Pokemon out here. I'm, I'm gonna switch. Uh, being quad weak to every hit, and that's really terrifying. So we're gonna go to Willow, uh, so Willow can maybe get some love. And which kind of sucks because he has the potential to take two freaking hits right here from nuclear type Pokemon. So use Sudden Strike, that's okay. Not gonna do anything to me. And what did you use? Use the same thing? Nuclear Slash, it isn't on me. So that's gonna be quite effective to that thing. I think if it's a dual type, I'm not sure. 
Yeah, see, that, that, that right there is what I'm worried about it, whenever fighting a curry. So if I don't happen to kill the thing, the urine, something is going to die. 100%. Uh, I don't have any tool. I don't, so... All right, we gotta come. We gotta come and clutch right here, Coatlift. You gotta do all you can. I can kill one, but you gotta kill the other one. That's why Surf has been so handy. But I do want to mix up the team experience right now, and I, I really like Willow. I like the Jackalope idea. All right, Coatlift, can you finish off the other one for me, please? You're super effective. You gotta use. Okay, Dragon Pulse. That should be enough. That should be good. I think you had good special attack, or do you have good attack? I can't remember. We had you. You did get the kill. You get a critical hit, though, but that's fine. All right, what else are they going to throw at me, though? And the Gyarcrest is also splitting this experience, so... Level 68. I think it's definitely Willow's turn to get all this experience. Okay, so we'll hit this with... We'll hit it with a Moon Blast. But I got to be careful. If that thing even does Poison-type moves, that's pretty terrifying. Normal effective. Should still kill it, though. It doesn't. All right. Can you finish off the same one? You did. Okay, awesome. I knew it had to be normal effective because of poison and nuclear, but I still thought that moon blast would have killed it from Willow being like 10 levels higher. It didn't even go for me though. That gunk shot could have done some damage, so I'm really glad that didn't go for me. I like I like the risk though. Alright, you have a Nucleon, so nuclear versus nuclear, so I hope they attack you. But what I was wondering is that that's the Eevee nuclear type. I'll go with just a regular aura sphere here. That is the Eevee uh, nuclear type, right? So what I'm feeling like, what if you restore that Pokemon? Does it go to an... Why do you always use Last Resort, dude? Come on, Willow. Come on, Willow. You're 10 levels higher. You gotta be kidding me right now. You seriously have to be kidding me right now. What is going on? A critical hit? Yep, yeah, it's all on the Geikers right now. That really should not even count, dude. All these double battles are garbage. I am honestly pissed off about that. I, I made it through the entire episode, and I'm going to lose because of this final freaking horde fight. I guarantee you, somehow, this is the final fight before we fight Curry. I knew I should have switched. I knew I should have switched. I knew I should have switched here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm into the freaking episode off right here. I knew I shouldn't have done that, but I wanted to spread off my experience and not let Legacus get everything. So I, I was hoping you could take at least one gunk shot. Just one gunk shot. But no. But freaking no. Maybe we'll get an extra life in the next episode. I really don't even know, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to smack that like button. And if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the United Family today. You can find me in all kinds of social media links like Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. All that can be found in the description below. In the next episode, everybody, we're going to be taking on this legendary Pokemon in Curry. I'm done with your dialogue for you. I really don't even care. I know that Curry's up ahead, and I know I got to take this. We got this. Don't even worry, Father. I got this. I don't need Theo. Let Theo go do his own little thing. I have the little radioactive suit. He's fine. I'm pissed off, and I'm ready to go take this thing on with only two Pokemon. I'm not even worried. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. That's going to be the next episode, but I'm ready right now. Yo, what's going on? Yo, no, no, no. I don't want to fight it right now. I don't want to fight it right now. No, 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 no. No. Did I fight it right now? I don't know what's happening. What's going on? Dot, dot, dot. Where am I? Yo, seriously, what just happened? I was not expecting all this to go down. Rebooting interface. Interface online. Hello, Dylan. This is your hazard suit interface. Yo, it can talk to me? That's freaking awesome. Preservation of life. Performing heal, uh, health diagnostic. Blood toxicity, uh, toxicity, healthy. Injuries, m minimal. All right. Reporting nav- or rebooting navigator. Reboot failed. All right, so everything. So what do we got to do here? Yo, we only have 20%. Oh, yo, can we die? Yo, can we die from the radioactivity? The power, a power cell is needed. Once navs are restored, it will turn on the tracking program. Use this to find carry. Entering power save mode. Yo, what's going on? Like, I don't know what, else, what I'm supposed to do here. 
We're going to find that out in the next episode, though, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Maybe we'll get an extra life in the next episode and bring Willow back. I don't really know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, this is not just a channel. It is a family. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next episode. I'm out.